the, the four steps that are highlighted here is what is essential for securing your applications. The two key components of software that are needed are the traceable platform agent and the tracing agents which run in the context of your applications. Let's get started. In this case, I have an application which is running in Kubernetes, which I need to protect. The infrastructure is running in GCP and you see all the different Kubernetes services which are part of this application that you're trying to secure. Let's see how Traceable can do that. The first step is the platform agent. In this case, I will be installing the platform agent within Kubernetes and we create a specific namespace where this will run. The second step is actually to add the repository into Helm so that all the components which are needed from the traceable for the installation can easily be deployed via Helm. All that you need to do here is specify the token and the environment which you're trying to protect. As you see here, once I do that, the traceable agent is up and running in your Kubernetes cluster. The next step is actually to install the tracing agents, in this case, in the Kubernetes sidecar proxy. It's very simple. Once you indicate which namespace that your application is running needs to be injected with a traceable proxy. Once this is done, as with any Kubernetes deployment, all that you need to do is restart the deployment by specifying the namespace. Here I ran that, and as you see, with that single command and with the restart of the deployment, all the services that need to be secured have been injected and they're up and running. The third step in this particular case is going to be related to the Java application. Because the Java application is running within the Kubernetes cluster, all that you need to do is label the namespace where you're injecting the Java agent and then annotate all the different deployments which need to be secured. Once that is done and you restart the deployment, you're ready to get going. In this demo, as you see, I had four different deployments within Kubernetes. And once I put in the annotation and restarted them, my application is good to go. On the last screen, you will get a summary of all the different components of software that were installed, as well as the services and APIs which will be protected by Traceable. You are ready to go into Traceable and try these security features on your own.